And the storm is sending people in Marion County to eight different sandbag locations. Our residents say they might not need the sandbags, but they'd rather be safe than sorry. TV 20's Deja Clayton is live in the Ocala Bureau now. Deja, what else are residents doing to prepare there? Dave, I spoke with one resident who says she's been through multiple hurricanes and says she prepares the same time every time. You keep plenty of water, you keep plenty of batteries, um, non-perishables. Bojangles Lamont says she lives in a home that can occasionally flood when there's a storm. She says it's easy to panic during a time like this, but she doesn't think the storm will hit Marion County too hard. I don't think it's going to come directly on us to where we need to panic. Um, you have a lot of newcomers to Florida that do panic and because they've never been through a hurricane and don't know what to expect and that's understandable. Luan also says she stays prepared so she doesn't have to rush into stores when there's a big crowd. You know ahead of time what you're going to get and how you should prepare. Most Floridians kind of keep everything stocked up on a regular basis so you really don't need to go rushing. Marion County Sheriff's deputies say they're also reminding people of what to do if the power goes out or if debris falls into the road. We'll see limbs down and power lines down potentially and where it comes into a safety uh, concern is when we see traffic lights go out. So if you come across a traffic light following a storm uh, sometime that is out, treat it as a four-way stop and proceed with caution. Marion County schools are closed on Thursday. People with special needs can check in at Westport High School starting tomorrow at 2 p.m. It will open to the public at 4 p.m. Live in the Ocala Bureau, Deja Clayton, TV20 News.